Hey folks, Poverty Point Customs here. What we're going to do today is unbox my new Noma wooden cabinet infrared heater. I got this from Canadian Tire. It was on sale for $121. Regular price is $150 plus tax. Alright, so let's take a look at the box. Now this infrared heater has three zone settings. It's a high, which is 1500 watts. Low, which is 750 and eco mode. Also comes with a remote control. Nice thing about these, they're quite compact and they put out quite a bit of heat. So let's get it unboxed and see what's inside there. Alright, so it comes with your instruction manual, your remote control, your actual heater itself. Pull off the front plastic. On the back, it has your cord, and it also has your main power switch right there. All right, so before we use the remote and we'll go through the instructions, you have to pull on the plastic tab here. That way it allows the battery to uh, connect to the circuit board inside the remote. So just taking a look at the heater. So here's where the heat's going to blow out, your control panel. It's on a set of caster wheels, which is really nice for moving it around. On the back, again, you have your main power switch. This is where it sucks in the air. And every once in a while, you're going to actually want to unscrew these two screws here, pop out your air filter and clean it. And the way you clean this unit when it gets a little dusty is a damp cloth. Again, make sure your units are powered off when you do that. So on your control panel, you're going to have your power button, you're going to have your temperature settings where you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, your temperature up and down. This is your mode button for high temperature, low temperature, or eco mode. This is where you set your timer, and this is where you set your lock button. So if you don't want anybody to actually change anything on here or using the remote, you hold your lock button down for three seconds. That actually locks both this screen and your remote. And to unlock it, you hold this down for three seconds and it actually unlocks everything so you can actually start changing your temperature setting. So it's great if you have uh, small children. All right, so let's turn it on for the first time. So we're gonna hit the power button. Right now it's set for 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, you can press this button here, changes to Celsius. This is your temperature up and down. So we'll put it at around, say, 19, yeah, let's go high, let's go up to 22. And then this will keep this unit at 22 degrees Celsius and it will kick off when it is that temperature, the ambient temperature around the unit. And again, to turn it off, just your, use your power button. And it will take a few minutes so the, the fan will actually stay on till the unit cools down. So again, with the remote control, you have your power button, you have your mode setting, you have your temperature up and down, and your timer. So again, let's turn the unit on, and again, you can put your temperature up and down. Again, you can choose between your modes. As you see right here, that's high temp. Press the mode button again, low temp, and eco. So what this does with the eco mode, it will keep it either at 20 degrees or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And that way it will keep the air around it at that temperature. It will kick off when it reaches that temperature. So it, it will maintain your room at 68 or 20 degrees Celsius, which is nice. And again, you have your timer. We'll put it at two. It will flash for a couple seconds. There you go. And again, you can see that your timer's on. And I will say I'm probably five feet away from the unit and the amount of heat that's coming off that is phenomenal. And just to let everybody know the size, it's roughly 15 inches high by about 12 inches wide and the depth is approximately 10 inches. 
So again, in using these units, make sure there's nothing too close to the front because right here, there's a huge amount of heat coming out from the front. And again, at the back, this is where it's sucking in the, the fresh air that's going through the unit. So you wanna make sure it has some ventilation at the back here. So you're gonna to wanna to keep it out a little bit from the wall. And also make sure it's plugged into a grounded outlet too. I also just wanna add, when you are using the timer, every time you go up one, so right now it's showing six, which is actually six hours. And it will let you go up as long as 12 hours on the uh, timer. So right there again, it's set for uh, one hour. Anyways, this is just a short unboxing video of my Noma infrared heater uh, and a little instructional video. So if you have any questions or comments regarding these, make sure you post them below. Also, if you have any tips for other people watching the video, uh, make sure you leave a comment below. Again, if uh, you like this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a Merry Christmas.